My fellow Americans, you know my name. You've heard it on every national news station, read about it in every newspaper, probably tweeted about it, and I guarantee you said it at least a dozen times at the dinner table. No, it's not Beyonce, though I really wish it was. All the single ladies! I can also tell you that if you've met me this past year, or met someone sharing my name, you felt the need to comment on it. I'm not over-exaggerating. I've had 365 days to case study this. Not once have I gotten a simple, it's nice to meet you. And why is that? Because my name is Hillary. I know we were all put through the ringer, but imagine every time you introduce yourself to a stranger, having it be followed up with, hold on, what's your name? Like Hillary Clinton? Oh my gosh, you're gonna be our next president. I'm not voting for you. I voted for you. You're going down this election. So you're a Democrat. Does that automatically mean that you can't be a Republican? You're gonna vote for yourself? And that's just the tip of the ice any innocent Hillary could just be ordering a drink at Starbucks and suddenly it's like, is that your Trump cup? You know, your anti-protest coffee? No! Sometimes a girl just needs a latte. And then as we got closer to the elections and emotions started running even higher, you just couldn't get into an Uber without, man, I thought I was picking up the real Hillary. Or, you're going to jail. Or, I am with you. So you're the one trying to take away my guns? I'm not voting for you. And because Hillary's are notoriously nice people, I'm kind of just guessing here because I've got like a really limited sample size. They probably smiled and nodded and even laughed just like they did the 600 times before they met you. <laughs> but then even post-election. I just don't know what happened. Hillary for prison. So why do I bring this up now? Because I'm hoping that 2017 is the year that we realize that just because someone has a certain name or a certain background or a certain skin color doesn't mean they want to be the sounding board for your personal opinions. Just because I share the name with a political figure doesn't mean I want to discuss politics with you. But I know I'm not alone in feeling judged because of something I was born into. I mean, we could be great friends if the conversation didn't start with. Stop trying to change the Constitution. By the way, I know you wouldn't say those kinds of things to a Hillary. If you posed a political question, it would be intellectual, bipartisan, judgment-free, and a conversational musing. This is for your other friends. You know, the ones you're going to share this with. The ones that don't know when to back down from a political discussion or when they've taken something too far. I think it's great that there are so many people that are passionate about the future of our country and who are actively engaging in the democratic process. It's so important that we all vote, stay up on current events, and utilize our voices to influence the issues that matter the most to us. All I'm asking is if you meet a Hillary this year, or anyone that you feel needs to hear your political opinions, just remember, they too have been enduring this election season with you, so be kind. And if you want to discuss politics, great! Just try to be aware of the other person's emotions. And if they take a different stance on an issue than you, hear them out. Let's all grow and engage in discussions while trying to understand where our neighbor is coming from. But if you do meet a Hillary, they'd probably just be grateful for a hug. By the way, this goes for Donald's too. Except for Donald Duck because he's a cartoon. He probably doesn't care. Share if you feel like we all need a fresh perspective in the new year. And don't forget to like my page if you want more from Hillary in 2017. That wasn't a political throw. I was just, you know what, never mind. Thanks for watching.